Um, we just left the courthouse and they don't hold records back that far. So the gentleman and the lady there, uh, they got together and they, they called the, uh, the chaplain at the church here and at the cemetery. And we got a meeting with him at 530 and he should have records in the church and it's a good possibility we might find relatives here in Genez, Switzerland. So um, uh, another thing is we'll go through the cemetery. Um, we had uh, several people tell us different things, 20 to 25 years, um, but uh, they get cremated. Either they can be put in the ground or they can be put in an urn in the cemetery. So either way, and after 20, 25 years, they figure, well, your remains are gone, gone and gone. And they're just going to go, basically, the they're going to go into the ground due to weather. And, and then stuff. they dig up the spot after 20, 25 years and put somebody else in the same spot you were in. Yes. So uh, they were really surprised. I was like, in America, we have cemeteries that stay for forever. I'll go ahead and move up, baby. And, uh, so we're gonna find out there's maybe a good possibility that there is um, maybe a, like a family cemetery. But there, 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 to me, I don't think, I'm trying to be positive, but yes. there's a possibility, but wait to see how small the cemetery is. Yes. It's not we're, like back home. And, and we're hoping that he, he has records, yeah. but we are hoping that he has records that are dating back as far back as the 1800s to where his, his great-great-grandfather and grandmother are and that they could at least show us at which of these grave sites that are here where they were laid to rest. And we're going to take you in here. We were here earlier yesterday and it's a beautiful grave, or I'm sorry, cemetery. It's beautiful. Just the church is pretty. Yes, the church is just gorgeous. And it's well kept. So we're going to take you in here, and we're going to take you a little tour of the, the graveyard and show you what we're talking about. They're not normal graves. They're very small. Um, it's, it's because they've been cremated. Yes, it's, it's because they've... the size they've, of an urn. Yeah, it's, they're just... Well, you'll see for yourself. So let us take uh, turn you around and uh, take a look. So this is the entrance to the church, and this is where we have to come back at 5.30 to talk to the priest. This is, believe it or not, this is a water fountain, and water comes from here, and this is supposed to be the purest water that you could absolutely drink. <laughs> I've been drinking in daylight. Like yes, that. this these little graves mm -hmm. here are children. These are little children. Because yeah, we talked to uh, uh, a couple yesterday from just traveling through, and they know a lot about it. And then uh, um, uh, another lady came, and she says, "Oh, they're gone." They're yeah, gone. I mean, I just flat out said they're gone. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess this is just what they're accustomed to. I guess you can say it's not like yeah. America. But you can see the cemetery. Well, there's a plots back there, but this is it. Yeah, this this is it. And, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's just beautiful. And it goes on up the hill. And there's just a few behind the church. Not very many. So, I said maybe 10, but like, that's look it. Look at but, these. 2003, 2002, yes. 2002, 2002. Yes. So, once... Once they reach the 20, 25-year yeah. mark... These will become available for someone else to be buried in. And these are all, you have no... Um, 2005, 2008. I mean, I, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want this to sound like I'm discriminating or anything, but you really don't have a choice. You are cremated because they don't have a lot of area here yeah. to bury people. So you are automatically cremated. And then you are, you know, your the urn or whatever is just basically, it just dissipates into the ground. But these plots here that... You can replace the, the, 
tombstone right there, right? And put the urn inside. And these here, yes. But I just wonder if these are the ones that they say they buy. That she was talking about there are some that you can buy. 2011, 2000. Yeah. And, and they can. Yeah. 2009, there's a young lady right there with a picture of her. Yeah. 2015. Oh. She passed away in 2009. What a beautiful lady. Yeah. But um, we were told that you can actually buy a plot or a grave. Grave. 2023. And you won't, you know, you'll stay there. And I noticed that yesterday... There were two new graves up here, and they haven't put the casting around the edge of them. So, I'm kind of confused on that, but, yeah. Imagine it's expensive, just like Switzerland in general is very expensive. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. See, there's one of the water fountains. Ready? Yes. This is the purest water there is. It is, it comes from underground in Switzerland and they say it is purer than bottled water. These are the newest graves. These have just been put here in 2003 and they haven't got the casting around them. But I've noticed they're longer and I don't know why so I I don't know so and then I wanted to take you take you down here and this was this one was really really unique when I stumbled up on this one here and like I said you know the families are cremated and this is the one that I said, I think that people can buy the plots and then they are just stayed there. This area that we are in, this is a family that is buried here. If you'll see all these names, these are urns that are planted here and buried. Yeah, so they're all here in this area. So I think someone has bought this area and these people will stay here. So, but, but this is the gravesite of where his grandma and grandpa was placed to rest. And so 5.30, they get to go back and, and talk to the priest and let's hopefully Hopefully, let's hope for the best for him. You know, I'm really sorry and, and broken heart. I know it, it really, oops, sorry, didn't mean my finger to be there. I'm really broken hearted for him. So, oh, yeah. I want to turn you one more. He wants me to turn you around one more time and give you the view. Okay. He wanted me to show you the view that they get to see at their resting place. Isn't that gorgeous? the mountain this is what they see every day God's country and beautiful just beautiful yeah but I hope Ray and Jesse get better news because it really hit them hard but um, stay tuned uh, we'll have more videos coming up and about this and see how it all turns out so Ray and I love you. God bless you guys. And stay tuned for more videos, okay? Love you guys from Switzerland. Um, good afternoon, or good evening, folks. Um, Ray and Chris from the Traveling Soulmates. And um, this is my sister, Jessie. And Hi. we're in Genes, Switzerland. And we've been blessed today because we had a meeting with the pasture and he brought a genealogist. Historian. Historian and genealogist, right? Yeah. 
So uh, we stayed in the church for probably an hour. And then all of a sudden he goes, you have family living right here. And we do. And I just want to show you. And uh, we were um, blessed to come to their home today and get a really good understanding because we were here for the Don Nutzers. And all actually, we came here for the cloths that my grandmother and grandfather, my grandfather's mother and father are the clauses. And we're here today with the clauses. So I just want to introduce you to the folks here. And um, um, Uncle Charles and Aunt Bird, I mean, this is going to be a blessing for you guys. So needless to say, here we go. Here you go. This is... Hi, I'm Jasmine. Yeah. I'm 33 years old and I live here. And that's my dad, Peter. Um, he's 62. He works at the post office. He's a postman. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my mother, Priska, the wife um, from Peter. She's a kindergartner and also lives here in Enots. And then Paul, the brother um, from Peter, my uncle, he's also living here. Yeah. And uh, this is the, the Kloss family. And they live just from the church. I mean, it's, it's, here's what's crazy about this. That the mom here, we went by her uh, establishment where she works at twice. Yesterday and today, we were that close. And we actually parked right where the van is parked today, <laughs> earlier today. So, I mean, we are so overwhelmed right now because um, I wish we could spend more time with them, but they're, they're just like us. We're just busy people. We got a lot of things going on. We have to work for a living. And uh, they invited us home. We had dinner and we had some beers and that's great. I'm all about it. But uh, this has been a blessing that one, she can speak English. <laughs> and, and Uncle Charles, who's Peter look like? <laughs> right? Yes, and then um, Uncle Ronnie, Uncle Charles, if you put a beard on Pete or Paul here, holy moly. So we just want to say this has been um, a huge blessing. And I just hope this continues, that uh, we can work off of this and finish our family tree and just like Jerry said, we actually rolled the dice. We didn't know this was going to happen today. And uh, just like you all know earlier, the video that um, in America we have grave sites that last forever. You could go there 100 years from now and go there. Tears from the 20 years, yeah. yeah, and then they'll dig it up and put another person in the spot. So it was disappointing but very rewarding yes. as of tonight. So this has been, this has been some closure, closure for me, me and my family. Yes. You know, because we never had the opportunity. We're so busy in our lives that sometimes we forget what's really important. So <laughs> me and my sis here, it's been, uh, it's been pretty cool. So, uh, you want to say anything, sis? I just feel blessed. I mean, yeah. the day yesterday came out distraught a little bit, but at the end, we have family. Yep. We got our new extended family right here. <laughs> you know, so uh, it's been it's been pretty cool. You know, we would never thought this would happen. I didn't think it would ever happen. You know, so and it's. It's happening right now. So, <laughs> bless your soul. <laughs> so, hey, I just want to say thank you and Uncle Charles and Aunt Barb. We uh, love you. We did it for us and we love you guys a lot. And I hope it brings closure for them. So, uh, we bless you guys and I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs>